thousands upon thousands of lens flares. Anyways, they're pointless. Yeah, fizz, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna go set myself up here. This Wait, tower. The guns have automated IFM. I can rewire to recognize our aircraft as friendly. In English. We turn their own guns against. Okay. Green military earth. Originally, uh. To do blah, blah, blah. You got two minutes, then blow them. Take them, Leon. Cover Hopper. They're pushing up the right. Enemy troops incoming. Take the ace driver. We take the platform. Hold your ground. <laughs> that shaking is getting really annoying. Up your head up. Good boy. Thank you. I'll be switching to you in a sec, Bolt. These towers are awesome, especially in multiplayer. That exploding is getting really annoying. Ow. Let's take care of that. Good kill, good kill. Still some enemy armor down there. Mop them up. There's plenty of enemy armor down there. That's another down. Good shot. Now this, this, I can get, this, I have no problem with. Destroy all vehicles using the UAV in Chapter 7, Golden Gate. Congratulations. We need to what? Get out of here now. Into the Something blew up. I'm Got driving. it. Jacobs, man the gun. Let's get off this bridge. Yeah, I'm going to keep you, Skippy. Get in the goddamn Humvee. I'm getting in. 
I have no problem being in the gun of a Humvee, although I'd, be, I'd prefer to be behind the wheel. Humvee, take it out. We just need to keep this one in good shape. Can I blow you up? Run! Run! Yeah. 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 Son of a bitch. It's not away that easily. Damn right. Watch the Watch the yeah, it doesn't get away that easily, is it? I think the countermeasures are quickly while the players are smoking it. <laughs> Face. Just took a Goliath to the face. This is Connor Morgan. Enemy armor column rolling in from the south. Request immediate airstrike at the mouth. Of the Negative on the airstrike. Friendly units are danger close. You need to hit them now. Negative. We don't have a solid ID on hostile targets. Oh, fuck it. Warpath! Fire on my position! What are you doing? Look for the flyer! Repeat that. It sounded like Just you said. The biggest fucking bomb you got on the flyer! Affirmative. Airstrike inbound. Yeah. Connor, wait! Strike leader, confirm you have a visual. Connor, what are you doing? Beetle one has eyes on the player. Package away. Connor! Can anyone see him? Connor! This is Europa News in London. The Underground Voice of Freedom Network reports that American resistance fighters have joined U.S. military forces in a major offensive in occupied San Francisco at the Golden Gate Bridge. The coordinated attack may prove to be a turning point in America's guerrilla war against the Korean occupation. Meanwhile, the EU Defense Council has called an emergency session to plan support for our allies across the Atlantic. That's the game. Pretty good. I really like the ending though. Honestly, it's probably... You know, I'll just put it this way. It's unfortunate the guy died. You know, this is the, I think, third time I've looked through this game total. And when Gunner goes, fucking drop the flare on me. Still gets me. Every time I'm like... Ah. Why? Why is it happening to do it? Why is that in that way? Well, you know, just, just think about this for a second. The, uh, yeah, let's just compare this guy to... I don't know, any Call of Duty character, practically. Ultimately, his final sacrifice is a turning point in the war, whereas any major Call of Duty character... Would they die? Whatever. Uh, let's go with... Soap, when he died... All this he succeeded in doing was getting a Russian punched in the face. Price didn't die, so we can't really compare him. Uh, when Alex Mason died? Actually, I really don't know much about that, I think. Yeah, when Alex Mason died, he just created turmoil for his personal family. His son is... 
friend woods. Yeah, nothing really else special happened. Well, that, that's probably better than the other guys. When not as any other character. I'm referring to any almost every character in most FPS games when they main character when they die. What do you freaking do? It didn't really do anything. He accomplished it, and it made you feel sad, even though he was only there for... Honestly, probably, for... You only played with him for about maybe six hours. Six to... I'm guessing this is probably around eight, actually. I don't know. I'll see when this is over. Maybe nine at most. Yeah, you only played with him, you were with him for so long. You had a lot of other characters in Call of Duty games. I've with you for two games, uh, one or two games, and you tend to be like, ah. Oh, Okay, whatever, they died. This guy, you're like, ah, oh, I feel horrible. Anyways, yes, uh, let's see, should I might as well give a review of this game. It's, uh, pretty good. I liked it. Very liked it. I liked it a lot. The storyline was awesome. The gameplay, I was a little bit of desire. There's a bit of glitches here and there. I, li I honestly, I kind of like the, uh, four bullets to kill thing. A lot of bullets to kill. I'm a big fan of that one, actually. I think it's kind of cool, and I like how the enemies become progressively stronger. So they got better armor. The first guys, I said, like, I start off with, like, 70 health. The little police officer dudes. Uh, the second guys, the yellow... Yeah, the first guys are, like, the white and blue with the berets and stuff. The second guys are the yellow uh, and red. Those guys take, have 100 health. And the third guys have 150 blue, the dark blue colors. Okay, those guys are tough. Yeah, I like that. And music really adds to the game. Unfortunately... I also am probably going to have this video flagged for copyright or whatever. I'm, uh, yeah, third party copyright claims on uh, the music quality. And yeah, this whole cutscene thing. So I'm going to make sure to put this all separate. Uh, I also liked the characters were done well. Hopper, Hopper was really fun. Smart guy, hard to kid. Yeah, you know, just a smart guy mainly. Fun, made jokes. A personal favorite, of course, is that's like the fifth or sixth thing you've fallen off of today. Fallen off of, man. And lived! Yeah, that's just surprising. I like that joke. Yeah, they they kind of poke fun at themselves all the time when they play this game, when you play this game. And, uh... What's her name? I, the, the one character... The, I, uh... Some with an R. I don't know what it is. Rihanna, I think. She's like my least favorite character. The, you know, she's a pretty good character outside of that. She's pretty cool. She's kind of like the... Yin to... Connor's Yang, you know, yin Yang kind of thing. They balance each other out. She's more of a peace activist. Blah blah. blah. She doesn't really seem to be there. Want to be there, but she is because she thinks it needs to be done. Which is pretty cool. Boone. Boone is a really cool guy. I would like to have seen more of him in the game, but they ended it with his death and so that was pretty tragic. Really cool. May definitely made progress the storyline. Unlike you know, per se, ghost death in MW2. You're like. What? Huh? Yeah, it, I honestly think this is probably one of the better first-person shooters out there as far as storyline is concerned. Later on, there's a... Uh, let's see. They're planning on making a home front, too. In fact, they already have it in the works. Uh, it was originally by THQ, uh, with, with help of Crytek, I think. Unfortunately, THQ... I mean, uh, Crytek went under. Not Crytek, THQ went under, I mean. So, uh... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, then uh, what happened was Crytek, I think, decided to buy it from them. So Crytek is now working on this game as their uh, Homefront 2 is their own. So I'm ha I'm really happy about that because I like playing uh, game other games that Crytek has made. For instance, I think real quickly they made I know they made a uh, Crisis One through Three, really fun games. I only have two currently, but I have played a little bit of one. I've, uh, when I say love, I mean like practically nothing, but schmidgen. And I have uh, seen a little bit of play of uh, Crisis Three, which really is cool. So I feel like they're gonna add like the Crisis flair to it, which would be pretty cool. Uh, as well as I think they made, I can't remember. I think they might have made Far Cry, the Far Cry Three, so Far Cry Three, maybe the other ones. I don't really know on that one though. But yeah, the, the, so I'm happy that they're doing because they'll hopefully because I think I think really they were planning on keeping the storyline aspect, like you know. They're gonna like try to keep some of the writers and so on to make the storyline as good as it was for the new one and the old. Uh, and they're gonna be using Crytek, uh, Crisis, Crytek's whatever. They're uh, 
redoing their gameplay engine, which is going to be pretty cool. Should help out with gameplay, so hopefully the second one will deliver on the both good quality and good gameplay. But, you know, even then, I personally find the benefit, uh, the gameplay to be far more, far outweigh the, uh, far outweigh the, not the gameplay, the, the game itself is going to be far, far outweigh, I'll play the, well, I'll play the neg beat the negatives out on the gameplay. So yeah, that's my opinion of this game. I hope you enjoyed my Why Not Difficulty this playthrough, and, uh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload all of this, both, uh, all that I've recorded during these two, uh, over the next couple of days. Don't know how many, next three or four. So I'll give you guys some bonus footage. Yeah. Have fun. Uh, anyways, I'm Rasmus El Greco here, signing out, and, uh, have a good day.